So for a lot of folks, the Steam Deck has been a revelation, but for me, I had a bit of buyer's remorse. I actually picked it up and gave it a full chance and realized that other than my first person shooters, which I still love to play mouse and keyboard, the Steam Deck has been my favorite console of the recent years. Games like Red Dead Redemption, Marvel, Spider-Man, even Stray have made this an amazing experience just to game wherever I like. But being that this is essentially a handheld PC, there's way more functionality to this device. So I reached out to the good folks at JS Ox or JSOX, I'm gonna call them JS Ox for the remainder of this video, to send over their six in one dock. So the main reason I wanted this dock is that I have some plans with the Steam Deck that I haven't seen anybody do yet here on YouTube or the internet. Maybe it has, but we'll see. So you're gonna wanna subscribe and stay tuned for that, man. I promise you, it's gonna be a fun experience. And one of the reasons that I wanted this particular dock because it has a trick up its sleeve. You have the ability to add an M.2 NVMe SSD. So you get those extra fast speeds when installing games or you can use it to dual boot another system. Actually, the possibilities are endless. So let's turn around, check this out and see what's good. All right, here, let's just take a real quick look at the box here. You can put an M.2 SSD in there. It has HDMI out at 4K 60 Hertz. It actually has an ethernet port, which is cool and does 10 gigs of data transmission. I'm gonna say this, man, before we go too far, I definitely wish this was a little bit cheaper. So right now, the official Steam Deck dock is $89. I would only get this one if you just like, yo, I need to have the brand name that came with the thing because JSOX also provides, you know, cheaper docks that, you know, just provide docking functionality and there are other third party options, but we're gonna take a look at this one, get this out the box and see what's good. Welcome to a new experience gaming on Steam Deck. We hope I blah, blah, blah. Let's see, we got a user guide. There's like a quick start. This is for your M.2, you just put this on there. These are little screw things to hold it down. And then you have the actual dock. Man, this is heavy, this got some weight to it. All right, rage it, I had to rage it. This feels, quality this definitely feels solid it's all metal here this is where you would rest your steam deck there's some rubber pads in here that you can rest it on let's see on the back here we have a usb-c power delivery you have your hdmi two usb 3.2s then you have your ethernet here on the side then this is where you install your M.2 SSD. I'm guessing this is the charger. Now this is where I say you could have saved a little bit of money since they provide you an extra charger, which is good if you want an extra charger, but if you already have the charger for your Steam Deck, you could just use that. Quick dilemma, the reason I reached out to JS Ox is because I actually picked up this case to go around my Steam Deck um, just to give it a little bit more structure and it does have a kickstand. But let's take it out. Forget my fingerprints. Let's see. Oh man, yeah, that fits in there nicely. Then you would just take this cable, plug it in there on top, your USB-C. Boom. So what I'm gonna do is HDMI out to this monitor. We're gonna get it hooked up and we're just gonna see what the experience is like. Many months later. All right, you can see that I got everything hooked up. It was pretty flawless from the dock's standpoint. So I plugged in the dock to the Steam Deck here at the USB-C on the Steam Deck. I plugged my HDMI into my monitor. I plugged the mouse and keyboard into the dock and everything is working. You can see right now I got mouse and keyboard functionality if I wanted to. Then I just paired my Xbox controller by Bluetooth, and now I have a dot gaming solution. If I wanna play on a monitor, sit back and relax with the controller, I have that option. If there's a game that I wanna play with keyboard and mouse, I have that option. Or I could take the Steam Deck with me, unplug it seamlessly. Right there, just pulled up here on the Steam Deck. Let's plug it back in. 
Let's see how long it takes. Okay, a couple seconds, maybe about five or six seconds. And now I'm just back playing, having a good time. All right, real quick, let's talk about this 6 in one dock from JS Ox. Overall, man, the quality is immaculate. This feels amazing. You can put it down on your desk. I didn't even mention the rubber stoppers here on the bottom. You put this on your desk, it's not gonna slide around or move. The Steam Deck sits in there perfectly. And like I said, I love the construction. If you're gonna pay a little bit more for a device like this, then it better have this type of construction. It better have this overall feel. I'm not the biggest fan of this design, but once you sit your Steam Deck in there, you're not gonna see it. Honestly, I'm not mad at it, and I'm excited for the second part of this video. I'm sorry, I gotta break it up into two parts, but we're actually going to put the SSD in here, switch it into desktop mode, and I'm gonna do something that, you know, I don't think I've seen here on the internet, with the Steam Deck. What I'm gonna do is write and record a song, mix and master it on the Steam Deck, then I'm gonna shoot a video, edit it all on the Steam Deck, thanks to this dock right here, man. So I'm excited about this. This is gonna be pretty fun. I'm gonna bring you guys along for the whole process. So make sure you stay tuned, man. Leave any thoughts and ideas or comments, whatever you have down below. Make sure you check all links if you wanna pick one up for yourself. Big shout outs to JS Ox for sending this over. If I could get any kind of discount or whatever, I'll leave it down below in the description. And if you have a Steam Deck, man, let me know what games you play on it, man. Let's get this community going. I'm gonna get up out of here, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and never forget to holla at your boy. I'm gonna get back into this game, man. What's wrong with y'all? Flying through the city. Spider-Man, bitch.